Welcome to the Division Gear Guides. In today's episode, we will take a look at the high end gear talents. There are some good talents that you can combine with a 4 piece gear set bonus, since this leaves you with two more slots. We'll go over the different talents for the backpacks, chest pieces, masks, gloves, knee pads, and holsters. The backpack has five available talents. Technical, which increases your skill power by 13% while your signature skill is active. Inventive, which increases your skill power by 13% while you are at full health. Relentless, which returns 3% of the damage dealt by your skills as healing. Resourceful, which applies all healing to your skill objects next to yourself. And Specialized, which adds 13% of your firearms and stamina to your skill power. The chest piece also has 5 talents. Reckless, which makes you deal X% percent more damage, but you also receive Y more damage. Robust, which increases your armor by X% percent while in cover. Rapid, which decreases the cooldown of your healing skills by X%. Percent. Vigorous, which enables overheal on all your healing skills. And forceful which increases your armor by X% percent while your signature skill is active. The mask has, similar to the previous two gear pieces, also 5 talents. Enduring, which continuously regenerates health while in your last health segment. Refreshed, which improves all healing by 30% when your health is in the last segment. Rejuvenated, which removes all negative status effects when consuming a medkit. Tenacious, which increases your damage by 9.5% for Y seconds when using a medkit. And Rehabilitated, which heals you for 2% every second when you are affected by a status effect. The gloves have 5 talents too. Savage, which increases your critical hit chance by 13% against targets out of cover. Reckless, which makes you deal X% percent more damage but also receive Y more damage. Cunning, which increases the critical hit chance by 9.5% for the first shot after reloading. Decisive, which increases headshot damage with your sidearm by X%. Percent. And Astute, which increases the critical hit chance of the first three bullets of your magazine by 9.5%. The knee pads have three talents. Accomplished, which triples rewards from accolades. Prosperous, which grants you credits for critical headshots. And Perceptive, which increases your item and credit find bonuses by X%. Percent. The holster has 4 talents. Recovered, which regenerates damage taken while doing a cover to cover maneuver over 5 seconds upon reaching your cover. Nimble, which heals you for 2% of your maximum health for every meter you run while doing a cover to cover move in combat. Steadfast, which makes health regeneration kick in twice as fast when in cover. And finally, Sturdy, which increases your armor by 12.5% when you stay more than Y seconds in the same cover. Some of these gear talents are better than others. Let's take a look at the ones that are usable. On the backpack, two skills are of particular interest to us. The first one is Specialized. It works well with builds that are focused around skill power. The second one is resourceful. This way you could combine a medic build with a technician build by putting a support station over your turret for more endurance. For the chest piece, reckless is interesting for snipers and rapid and vigorous are interesting for medics. On the masks some of the talents are only good in specific situations. Some can top off for a perfect build, but personally we wouldn't trade them for some of the talents that the gear set pieces can hold. Our favorite talent on the mask is Rehabilitated, since it counters status effects really well and makes any other status resilience pretty much obsolete. On the gloves, there are a few good ones. Savage is good for any critical hit build. Again, Reckless is good for the snipers, Cunning for the bolt action marksman rifles, and perhaps for the low magazine shotguns as well. On the knee pads, Accomplished is very useful for the solo farm build that Marco Style came up with, but that's about the only reason to use high-end knee pads. 
The link to Marco Stout's video is in the description. On the holster there are some decent talents, but again nothing we would trade for any other talent of the high-end pieces. And that's the end of the guide. We hope you now have an overview of the high-end gear talents after update 1.5 in the division. Thank you for watching, rating are appreciated as always. For similar content you can subscribe and if you have any questions uh, we, we want to help you out so post them in the comments below and if you have any feedback for us also post it in the comments down below. Have a nice day!